Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I have some beauty empties that I just wanna go through and show you. Um, I don't, I've said this before, I don't know how much more I want to do beauty empties. I, I felt like I was just gonna hang on to things that I thought were worth talking about, but then I end up hanging on to almost everything um, because I feel like I could mention something one way or the other on most products, but I don't know how much people even care about this stuff. Um, just kind of organizing. I use a lot of the same products over and over again, so I just don't know how worth it these videos are to do, but I'll show you the beauty products that I've used up over the last few months. Let's start with some makeup remover wipes. Um, these, I, other than the e.l.f. ones that I purchased to try, which I did like, I can't remember, are they like $5, $6? You only get 20. Um, I felt like these worked a lot better than the other makeup remover wipes that I used, but I don't think it's a great deal for the price to only get 20 of them. So I would rather use something that doesn't work as well, but you get so many more for the price. So um, I'm just gonna toss this stuff. It's not gonna be organized. Um, I'm just gonna throw it in front of us because it is trash after all. The rest of these, actually no, this one I got as a gift for my sister with um, some other things. This is the Neutrogena. I, I did like these ones. This was the like a pride edition in special packaging. Um, this came with 25. No idea what the price was on them, but they did work pretty well. I want to say better than the e.l.f. ones. The rest of them I just get from Home Goods, um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, that those types of places. Um, there's this Global Beauty Care Glycolic Acid ones. And that same brand, there are the aloe vera. They work about the same. One of these, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one smells like rose water. It smells really good. This glycolic acid one, I can't remember. I don't think it had a scent to it. It was okay. They just don't remove eye makeup as well as I would hope that they would, um, being a makeup remover wipe specifically, but, you know, whatever. Um, and then this... Fresh or Petal Fresh Pure Avocado and Olive Oil ones. They didn't work as well either. They were much larger. You can see that package is a lot larger. Um, let's talk about some dry shampoos. I love Batiste. I like Not Your Mother's. This one, I usually get the purple one. Um, I can't remember what it's like geared toward. This one I got as a gift for my mom. I didn't like this one as much as I like the purple. I like the purple one better. Um, I think this has a lemon, strong lemon scent. It reminds me of the original, like, pst, one that has a strong scent to it. Um, it's fine. It works well. It's just, I like the purple one better. I like the smell of it. But I like Batiste because they have so many different scents, and they work well as well. Um... You can buy them in smaller ones, bigger ones. You can find them at like TJ Maxx and stuff, which is probably where I bought these. I'm trying to look for like sticker prices, but apparently I don't have that. This is the Rose Gold and the Sweetie. I can't tell you which one I liked better. I liked both of them. I would repurchase them again. And they have like cherry scent and, you know, tropical scent and coconut and all kinds of different scents. You can get them at Ulta, Target, Walgreens, CVS, you know, your grocery store, easy to find, great products. My face moisturizer that I've been using for years is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Oil-Free Moisturizer. Um, green tea and aloe is just a very, very mild, pleasant scent. It doesn't make my face oily. It came in new packaging. This was the old packaging, I believe, and this is the new packaging. I buy it in packs on Amazon now because I can't find it in stores anymore, but I will use that until it's no longer available. I can't really tell you that it's something that prevents wrinkles or aging or anything like that. It's just a simple, gentle facial moisturizer that I like the scent of and it doesn't make my skin break out. So that is that. Some native deodorants that I've used up are the sugar cookie scent, which I think I have one or two more of. This is in the sensitive. So this is the one that uses arrowroot powder, 
um, as the main ingredient versus tapioca starch. So you pick and choose which one you like better. Um, after I use up that sugar cookie scent, I don't think it's one I would get more of. Um, it's a little heavy to have as your deodorant, even though it does smell like a sugar cookie. Um, I'm just kind of done with it. And then this one is a sensitive version, and this is cherry and vanilla macaron. This I've had a couple times, and there's one that I keep in my locker at work, and it smells, maybe this is the one, it smells very good. Now, a different one that I had smelled completely different, and I, I want to say it was the difference between the sensitive and the regular, but I could be wrong. But one of them I really liked, and the other one I didn't like. Um, I would repurchase that again, though, because I liked it enough that I would get it again. Got Surf and Sea Moss, which is the summer one, and that smelled really nice. That smells like a uh, product from The Gap, that H2O Plus brand. It's very, like, fresh, aquatic, green uh, scented. And then Sea Salt and Cedar, which I think is a geared toward men's scents. And this was, yeah, your more manly... Um, not manly, I shouldn't say manly, more masculine scent. I don't care, I'll use it. Um, and I actually like that one. I would get that one again. So I think the only one I wouldn't get again is the sugar cookie one. Um, really quickly, I have some of these Gerard Cosmetics. Do you guys remember that? Um, that brand. I think they're still making products. They did like lip glosses and stuff. I bought a bunch of them. I never use them because they're so sticky. They like had the mirror and they like, do they light up? I can't remember. They're supposed to light up so you could put them on in the dark. And oh yeah, it's like, you can't really see it. It's like wants to work, but won't work. I never ended up using them. They are as good as trash to me. I'm just going to toss them. Um, I should toss so much more of my lip products, but I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. Um, maybe one day. This completely wore off, but this is the Proactive Cleanser, uh, one of my favorite face washes, if not my favorite. I also love this Origins Checks and Balances. Um, if I could scrape out what's in there, I absolutely would. I love this. I've bought much more of it, and it's just a simple, gentle, foamy face wash that you need, like the tiniest, like smaller than a pea-sized amount, will wash your face. It's, it's nice. It says not to use it on your eyes, but... I don't care. I haven't had any issues. I also really like this Avon one, some moisturizing cream cleanser. This is just a really gentle cleanser. It doesn't foam or anything. It almost feels like you're putting lotion on your face, but it clears off your makeup very easily and it's super gentle. So I usually start with that to get rid of eye makeup and then I'll go in with one of the other face washes. Um, I should probably turn this this way and um, finish removing the rest. I have a couple of the Suave Rosemary and Mint Conditioner. It's just something that I would grab because I like the scent of Rosemary Mint. Um, there's nothing really exciting about that conditioner. It's not extra moisturizing or anything like that or detangling, but it's cruelty-free. So when I need a um, conditioner and a pinch and I like that scent, I'll just go grab that. Um, one that I didn't really care for was this Dove Hair Therapy Breakage Remedy. I felt like my hair broke more with this. The scent's fine. It's nothing exciting, but... Um, I, I wouldn't recommend that. And then I use, um, I've used Pureology, this strength cure combo. Now I've, I think I've talked about this in past videos, a shampoo, a little bit goes a long way. So that's why I still have this, but no conditioner. A conditioner d does not go a long way at all. I have to use so much of it. So I don't like this combo and it's probably not something I'm going to repurchase in the future. If I did, I would probably just get the shampoo, but I feel like for me, shampoo is, I can get like a simple shampoo with nothing special to it. It's the conditioner that really makes or breaks my hair. So I could go with a really cheap shampoo and splurge more on a nice conditioner, but that smells good. And it lasted a really long time because, again, you only need the tiny bit. Um, and then speaking of shampoos, I have this Eva or Ava NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 shampoo. I do like this. I thought I had a big conditioner. Maybe I used that one up first. Um, this smells really good. Sorry, Felix is um, 
stepping on a cat mat that has like it makes noise it's crunchy um behind me so i'm sorry if you hear that but i like that it smells really good and speaking of that ava myc brand this main magic 10 in 1 primer i would purchase this again and i probably will i like this this is like a nice detangler overall moisturizing um nice spray to just put in your hair um I would put that in when I would take a shower at night and just kind of let that stay overnight. Now I have other products that I'm using right now. Felix, seriously? He crawled He crawled in a bag that he doesn't fit in. Um, I'm using other serums right now, so I probably won't repurchase that soon, but I will repurchase it again. Let's talk about, uh, what are you? Hairspray. I don't know why I was gonna say something that started with an SH. Um, I think I was just thinking of the Shaper Plus. I really like this hairspray. It says extra hold. Um, I don't feel like it was a really extra hold. I feel like it was a flexible hold, and I would absolutely purchase that again. I think that's one that you can get like on a Black Friday deal, that Sebastian Shaper Plus original. And then I do really like the um, Root Pump Plus Sexy Hair uh, for volumizing. It works when my hair is like freshly highlighted. Felix, seriously, what are you doing? Now he's in a box. Now he crawled into a box. My cats are acting a lot different um, now that EB is gone. And um, I can't really, I can't talk about that without getting too upset, but um, my cat EB that you guys may have seen in videos um, passed away. And I know that I kind of casually mentioning it in a couple videos um, so that people know why they don't see him. Um, but I can't talk about it without just like having a complete breakdown. So, um, but my cats are acting weird because they know he's gone. And so it's a different household right now. So anyway, um, let's change the subject before I get upset. I have some vendor um, products, the Cosmic Cleanse Miracle Butter Moisturizer in there here, which is pink sugar peppermint. I love the scents. I don't feel like that CBD stuff does anything for me. I don't, I'm sure that there are like stronger products out there. Um, I don't know if it's just me and I just don't respond well to it uh, because some people swear by that, but it doesn't do anything for me, but I do think that it's a great moisturizing lotion and it smelled really good. So for that, I would repurchase it again, but not because it had like the CBD stuff in it. Um, and then this is the uh, Sugar Sugar Carousel scent in like a exfoliant whip soap moisturizer. It's like a, yeah, like a whip soap. I really like that. It smelled really good. It's like a cotton candy birthday cake scent. That's awesome. Um, this is the Juicy Couture. Is it the Couture La La scent? This is like a more mature scent, but for me it has like scent memory. Um, so I finished it and it's time for it to go. But I definitely, as soon as I smell this, it takes me back to a certain time. And I'm, I think my grandma gave me that. And she's passed away since, so kind of nice to have that um dhc cleansing oil this is kind of like olive oil great for removing makeup it's not greasy or oily it rinses off it's amazing uh they used to sell this at sephora i think and they don't anymore you can still find it online and maybe ulta sells it i can't remember but that is a really nice product and i should purchase more of that I have a few mascaras buxom which i love I will continue to repurchase this mascara when they have like the good deals on it. I really like the brush. That is like my style of brush for sure. And the formula is really good. Um, let's move this back a little bit. This Avon True Color Wide Awake Mascara sucked. Um, it's like the weirdest swirly wand. Nope. And then this big eyes waterproof, it has like an upper lash and a lower lash. I'm pretty sure my mom gave me this as a gift. 
Oops, I got some on my hand. There's the upper, which is kind of that same twisty, weird thing. And um, the bottom is a very small one like that. The bottom one is fine. The top one is not great. Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner was great until it wasn't. Um, I think I ended up cutting it at some point, trying to get more eyeliner out of it. But it just all of a sudden, it worked one day and then it didn't work the next day. I bought from like a small local vendor a lavender coconut body hand cream, body cream. It's called lavenderbarnyard.com. Um, I wouldn't get this again because I didn't like the cocoa butter made it like a lavender chocolate. But if you like lavender chocolate scents or lavender cocoa, you would really like that. That was really very moisturizing, but it took me a long time to get through. Elf Perfect Finish HD Powder is the face powder that I use to um, set my makeup. It's a white powder. I think this is like five or six dollars. It's easy to find. It sets my face powder. It doesn't make my face oily and I, it really just like sets my concealer, which is ideal for me. Um, yeah. For foundation, I've been using the CoverGirl Outlast for a really long time. This is like the, it used to be the three-in-one. I get buff beige. I'm, I think I'm a little bit darker now. Um, that I will continue to repurchase. I think I already have it. And then this Kat Von D, what are you? A locket setting powder, translucent. This did not work as well as that e.l.f. powder. I would definitely not spend the money on that. I don't think that that worked great at all. Some floss that I love is this Dr. Tongue Smart Floss. You can find it on Amazon if you are a dental floss person, but you struggle. Um, Glide is always going to be your friend if you have really tight contacts with your teeth. But if you want something that is woven or you like that Listerine woven floss that got discontinued, long story about that, but it's a, a favorite among dental hygienists like myself, this is a nice replacement. Um, I bought it in like a 10 pack on Amazon and I'm very happy with it. It is my new favorite floss. It's thick, almost like think of like a silky yarn so it won't shred. Um, but it's because it's thicker, it covers more surface area. And so it removes more, uh, plaque. These random Avon eye creams, this night one, I, which night one, which night one are you? Okay, this night one, I really liked. Did I also like you too? Yes, I did. I liked both. Both night ones. There's a day cream. That's right. There's a day cream one I have right now that I don't love, but I like the night ones. Um, I don't have too much to say about them because I don't know too much about Avon, but they were nice. And um, I would probably purchase them again, actually. This number seven face and neck sample of this serum I did like it but it's not something that I used often enough to or long enough to know if it really made a difference but it was nice to put on my face so um, I actually I saved that because I thought to myself I should go purchase the full size of that and try that and see how I feel about that I would put it on my face and neck and it was just nice and moisturizing this product sucked I think I got this from influencer this is the Dr. Jart BB Disappear like disappear um, BB cream and it's SPF 50. Now, the, it, this breaks my skin out because this SPF is just like insane. So it's full. I've only used it a couple times. Um, it's tinted and um, I can't use it because it literally breaks my skin out because that SPF is just too nuts for me to put on my face. My face does not want that much SPF on. So unfortunately, this has been sitting in my bathroom for me to use like on my counter and I haven't used it and now it's just time for it to go. Like, does it have an expiration? 2021, 2-11-2021 I'm thinking. Yeah, so it's just time for it to go. And then if you are someone that wants like a whitening toothpaste but you have sensitive teeth, the Sensodyne, Sensodyne True White is a good product to use. Now it's kind of counterproductive to have a whitening toothpaste which is typically more gritty and abrasive and a sensitive toothpaste but if you're going to use a whitening toothpaste not to 
necessarily bleach your teeth, but to remove surface stains. Think coffee, tea, tobacco, wine stains, uh, darkly pigmented foods like blueberries. If you get those like brown or dark stains on your teeth, a gritty toothpaste, a whitening toothpaste will scrub that off on a regular basis. But it's not something you want to use every single day as far as like a regular whitening toothpaste goes. So to um, counter that, that can sometimes cause sensitivity because they're a little bit more abrasive, having the extra ingredient that Sensodyne has, whether that is stannous fluoride or potassium nitrate in there, to numb or plug your nerves is going to help counter that sensitivity. So if that makes any sense. So um, I tried a little sample of it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I will probably just continue to use like my Sensodyne regularly and then a whitening toothpaste a couple times a week, which is what I recommend to my patients too. So anyway, that's everything that I have. A whole bunch of random products. Nothing special. I don't use high-end stuff really. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to bring in a whole lot more. I'm trying to just use up what I have. Um, and that's about it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.